well, you two look fabulous. <laughs> and I can't believe uh, where the years have gone. Andrew, it seems like just yesterday that I met you in the Freustadt family room on Mary Helen's graduation evening. And Mary Helen, I have known you all your life. It seems like just yesterday when you were running around with your bowl cut hairdo watching Star Wars movie, and now in a blink of an eye, here you are getting married. Your relationship has been fairly easy since you met about four years ago. And on that day, you started the day like any other day, having no idea it would be a day that changed your lives forever. So as I was preparing for this toast, I definitely needed some inspiration. I'm not a public speaker. So I went to Pinterest and I was informed that I should discuss how I met the bride and groom. So Mary Helen and I met in the womb <laughs> over 22 years ago. And since then, my entire life has been filled with memories of the two of us. Um, people always ask what it's like to have a twin and I have never had an insightful answer because I truly could not imagine my life without her. So usually my answer ended up being, it's wonderful, she writes all of my papers for me. <laughs> um, Mary Helen has been my example of determination, sometimes mistaken for stubbornness, perseverance, loyalty, and as everyone likes to say, wisdom far beyond her years. I'm so lucky that my twin sister is also my greatest role model. So the first time I met Andrew was in the first year of dental school and immediately first thing I noticed about him was his just wit and his humor. I'm sure a lot of you know all about it. Um, Anthony even last night was saying that, you know, Andrew has a lot of expressions and catchphrases like, ooh, yikes. Uh, so I've never said yikes in my life and now my wife and I are always just back and forth, ooh, yikes. Uh, Basically, I want every man in this room that is a husband, that is a future husband, everyone. Andrew Camp is a role model, okay? So, Fonda and Eric, I'm telling you, you got you guys a great son, okay? I mean, together you guys make each other better. A father's heart is torn today, his little girl he gives away. But never has it been so clear to all whose hearts you hold most dear. This man who takes you as his wife has made a vow he'll keep for life. Doctors both has been your goal. You've known it long down in your soul. Success is sure to those who strive. In both of you we see that drive. Keep the faith, the road is long, with each other true and strong. No longer now, our little girl, we send you out into the world. But we don't grieve a mournful loss, instead we gain a son-in-law. Well, Andrew's name is now your own, our love for you is always home. Those gathered here to share your day, pledge our support along the way. 
A helping hand when strong winds blow, an open ear when burdens grow. But as each other's closest friend, you'll always be there to the end. Mary Helen, you mean everything to me. You're my best friend and my inspiration. You are my motivation to work hard so that I can provide you with the life that you deserve. I love so much about you, it seems too difficult to put into words. I could say that I love the way you laugh and that you're not afraid to do so, even when you're the only one that knows the joke. I could say that I love your compassionate heart and the intense relationships you have built with your family and friends. I could say that I love your simple and unwavering beauty or the way you look at me and remind me that I am blessed beyond what I deserve. I could say all of these things, but it seems easier to say that I love everything about you, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I would never dream of changing anything about you because you are what I have always dreamed of. I am certain that you are the other half of my soul and that we are meant to be. Our marriage will be a strong one. We will be tested every day, but I know our love is one that will endure. Andrew, for a certain period of my life, I found myself asking why me and wondering what the plan was for me who I wanted to be, and what I would find joy in. It took a while and a lot of learning and patience, but I became so happy with the person I was and knew that whatever was meant for me would come when it was right. Meeting you was like God telling me this, this is what I meant for you. You were so worth waiting for. I could not be more grateful for the sweet miracle that is you, and I can't imagine a better life than the one that I've been blessed with. You give me so much peace, and even to just sit and be still with you makes me happier than you can imagine. You've made me laugh from the moment I met you. You've brought so much fun to my life, and when I feel like everything has gone wrong, you still put a smile on my face. You have pushed and inspired me to be the best that I can be. You've supported me at every turn, whether I was deciding to be a bus driver, or take ridiculous summer classes, or adopt a dog, or adopt another dog. You've never made me feel that my goals are any less important than yours and have actually sacrificed so much to help me achieve my dreams. You are so incredibly smart and I am amazed by everything you've accomplished and so proud of your years of struggle and hard work to finally be standing here today as Dr. Andrew Camp. You astonish me with your kindness and your generosity to anyone lucky enough to call you a friend. You respect and love your family in a way that makes me so excited to see you become the head of our family. When I picture the rest of my life, I'm not sure where time will take us and what adventures and challenges we'll encounter along the way. But I know that you will always be by my side and that, God willing, we grow old together and look back at this day and remember it as the beginning of our life of utter joy together. As a testament to that love, I want you to know what I expect of myself in our marriage. I promise to lead us in faith in a household that knows and loves the Lord. I promise to be the father figure for our future children that they need. I promise to be patient with you and slow to frustration, even when we're running a little late. <laughs> I promise to keep the romance alive, whether it be a weekend getaway or a night in with dinner and a movie. Most of all, I promise to show you every day how much I love and cherish you. You deserve more than I can give, but I will give you everything that I have and everything that I am. I know how much you love sports. And when Lou Gehrig gave his farewell speech to a stadium full of baseball fans, he said, Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of this earth. I have an awful lot to live for. Well, today, I consider myself the luckiest woman on the face of this earth, and I sure do have an awful lot to live for. It's on my tip of my tip of my tip.